Welcome to our video abstract about our work on single-cell RNA sequencing in acute myeloid leukemia. I'm Peter van Galen. I am Volker Hoberstadt. And we work in the Bernstein Laboratory at NGH and the Broad Institute in Boston. Our lab uses innovative technologies to better understand diseases such as cancer. Acute myeloid leukemia, or AML, is a cancer of the blood system that affects 20,000 people per year in the US alone, and three out of four patients succumb to the disease within five years. All blood cells are derived from the bone marrow, where hematopoietic stem cells give rise to a series of increasingly differentiated cells that replenish the mature blood cells throughout a person's life. What happens in leukemia is that a cell acquires mutations that make it malignant, meaning it starts dividing rapidly and causes cancer. In our study, we would like to better understand the heterogeneity of leukemia cells. This includes how individual leukemia cells differ from each other and from the normal counterparts. To study individual leukemia cells, we used the novel RNA sequencing technology to measure gene expression in thousands of single cells. We first started with bone marrow cells from healthy donors to create a normal control. Computational analysis of this data revealed the differentiation process into the three major lineages of mature blood cells. We then took bone marrow cells from a number of ML patients and repeated the same analysis. We found that it was difficult to distinguish malignant leukemia cells from normal cells that are also part of the patient sample. To solve this, we designed a method that detects genetic mutations and maps them back to single cells using their molecular barcode. This allowed us to confidently identify malignant cells in patient samples. Using long-read nanopore sequencing, we could detect mutations throughout genes and even multiple mutations that affect the same gene and underlie distinct cell populations in the tumor. We then used machine learning to classify all cells from patients as either normal or malignant. When we compared the malignant leukemia cells to our normal control data set, we found that they resembled six cell types along the myeloid lineage. Interestingly, the cell type abundances varied strongly between patients and correlated to genetic mutations, even within the same tumor. When we looked in more detail, we found that the properties of primitive leukemia cells predict patient survival. We also identified markers of leukemia cells that can guide new therapies. Finally, we found that differentiated leukemia cells can suppress T cells of the immune system. For all the information on our study, please check out the original publication. Thank you for watching our video.